Hey Magic Community on YouTube, T1 Glistenralf here. I'm going to be playing in the FNM at Home Historic All Access event. I know I said I'd play Jumpstart, but this is kind of cool. It lets you play Historic, uh, but you actually get access to all of the cards in the format. And with Jumpstart being out, that means a lot of cards. I, if I had the time, I wish I could just brew, man, all kinds of stuff. Now, there is a little bit of a ban list here. Agent of Treachery, Nexus of Fate, Fires of Invention, Once Upon a Time, Veil of Summer, Winota Joiner of Forces, Burning Tree Emissary, and Oko Thief of Crowns, of course. Uh, so, uh, only four hours, okay, seven hours now. It ends in seven hours. I won't be playing that whole time. But I, I do wish that I had a chance to play it a good bit more. So, now let's see if we can brew something up. Alright, so... I've been thinking about this. Now, my daily quest is green or white spells. I'm actually going to put that on hold for a little while, because while I can do that, the first thing that jumps to mind would be something like uh, Bogles using... Uh, Bogles. Using Core Spirit Dancer to throw a bunch of, you know, enchantments on. That That's level one. Uh, everyone's thought of that. I'd like to do something a little bit different, a little special here. So, I noticed that this buddy... Where are you? This is actually in the format. This is a Vidalcan Archmage. Whenever you cast an artifact spell, draw a card. Now there is already a historic legal version of basically this card. It's uh, pull her up. Uh, Jora, Joyra? There we are. Uh, she's basically the same thing except she's legendary and costs red as well and it's any historic spell. So artifacts, hist uh, sagas, and legendary spells. Uh, well, or yeah, there we are, legendaries. I'm going to try to make this as close to mono blue as I can first, and then we'll go from there. So, first of all, we play Vidalcan Archmage, as you do, and we play Thassa's Oracle. I'm going to put four in here, and uh, Jace, Laboratory Maniac. Uh, I'm going to go a little excessive here. We can cut down the numbers in a bit, but for right now, let's just assume that this is what we have. So, these are our win cons. Like, Vidalcan Archmage is the engine piece. These are the win cons. We're going to try to draw through our deck. Uh, before I get to the shenanigans going on, let's first look at our lands. All right. Oh, hello. You know, I had to go and do that. <laughs> all right. Skip through all the... Oh, hello. Too far. Through all the islands. Um... I guess we can do one Castle Vantress. But uh, we can do two. We'll have a bunch of islands in the list. We'll have a bunch of islands. Let's see. I could have sworn there is a like an academy. Well, actually, maybe. No, it, it did have blue in it. It did have blue. Let's see. Let's look for artifacts. Oh, is Buried Ruin? That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, we can put Buried Ruin in the deck. Returns it from your graveyard to your hand. Uh, just one, I suppose, is fine for now. Um, we could add more, but now that we've done all of that, now that we've done that, now we get into the silliness. Okay. So, we're looking for artifacts that cost zero. So, we'll start off here. Artifacts that cost zero. And we have Chamber Sentry. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. Four Mox Ambers. Ornithopters, Tormod's Crypt, and Stone Coil Serpents. <laughs> so we have 20 artifacts that just simply will replace themselves. Otherwise, they don't do anything without Archmage out. Okay, so fair enough, fair enough. Now, we have some other... I am very tempted at this point to splash red for maybe like three copies of Joyra. She is legendary, so you want to be careful about it. In the context of this deck, she is worse. You can't stack multiple ones up. Whereas with Archmage, you can. So, let's see. We could do two or three of her. That would give us... Six instances would give us well over 50%. Well, I say well. A decent bit over 50% to have one in the opening hand. We also don't have any card draw just yet. So, if I were not adding Joy Rub, uh, Let's see. Then the next thing that I would do is I would go into two for Mindstone. And that puts us at 59. And then from here, I could just add one Joyra. And that would put us at... That would be the only red spell in the deck, though. I would need to have mana that accommodates that, which is 
fine. I would like to do more than that, though. Okay, so how many lands do we need? This is too many. This is absolutely too many. Uh, we'll do 22 lands for now, and run three copies of Joyra. And... where? Oh, yeah, I'm still looking at two. CMC. Let's see. Oh, I'm still looking at artifacts, aren't I? Not so fast. Alright. Joyra. Cool. One, two, three. Okay, so this is the deck as it stands right now. So there are some extra cards that we could run. We actually could include, for example, you actually just saw one of them right there, which is uh, Joyra's Familiar. But we, this doesn't really do anything for us because all of ours cost zero. Where it would come in handy is if we happen to run cards like these friends, and I'm going to go right back to this, of course. Draw. Okay, now, let's see. Uh, Golden Egg, ETB draw a card. Guild Globe, ETB draw a card. Uh, Mindstone draws us a card. Uh, where's Prismatic, Pri Prophetic Prism, ETB draw a card. Uh, a lot of these will actually have that, and so those would be impactful too. However, they don't cost zero, which means that for Archmage, they don't let us just engine through our deck. Uh, so I'm not sure what the right number of those would be. We can do just this, where the object is uh, stall or ramp into, you know, Archmage or Joyra, uh, draw a bunch of cards, play another one on the next turn. Hopefully on turn three you have one, four you have two, and then just draw through your deck on the next turn, playing either Jace or Thassa's Oracle to win you the game. That's the idea. Now obviously our mana base now needs to accommodate that we have red. If I were to take Joyra out, which I'm actually somewhat tempted to do. That that sounds wrong, but then I could include, uh, say, probably Golden Egg is the one I would include, because it also gains me life, whereas the others just gain mana, which isn't... We'll, we'll try a mono... Yeah, we'll try a mono blue version of this thing first. That seems like it would be more budget-friendly. Uh, it's hard to go down to zero copies of her, though, to be honest, because there's so little downside to at least trying to include her. Uh, let's look at, let, let's include this for now. Um, maybe not. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll drop it down here for now. And then let's look at the mana base. So we have to get ourselves off of that again. Oh, you know what? There's another thing I could include, actually, which is not here. Wishing well. Witching well. That's another thing I could include. Doesn't draw a card, but it does scry two, and then I, it can later in the game draw two cards. Uh, so if I were going mono blue, this is another. You know what? There's too much here for mono blue. I want to try. I would like to try that out. So we'll take out the golden eggs. All right, and try it like this. All right. Let's see. Actually, more buried ruins could work. I, I don't want to be. I want to be careful about having enough blue mana to be able to throw down Jace Wielder readily. If I have multiple copies of this, then I can't, or if I have Mind Stone, I need three islands. Uh, but one copy of Buried Ruin doesn't seem too bad. I'm just going to try out this thing that I threw together in, what is it now, like five minutes? Uh, let's see. Oh, like eight minutes, okay. So a little bit longer than that. Alright. New deck. Let's call it, I don't know, Vidalkin Storm. Hello? Hello? Oh, I have to go in and, and change it now, don't I? Hey, there we go. Vidalkin Storm. Cool. Alright. This silly, silly deck. This is what I'm going to try out. Okay, here goes nothing. So, round one. See how this goes. If this looks dumb, that's because it is. <laughs> that's because it absolutely 100% is. Uh, shout out to Evangeline for giving me her good luck charm, though. This is her bracelet. Maelstrom, okay. Uh, yes, this is a key. This is a key. Even without the Vidalkin, I have Witching Well to get me there, I have Jace to draw, Thassa's Oracle to try to scry me into it. This is fine. I actually have a decent little curve going on here. So obviously turn one Witching Well, the Scry will determine what I do next, but it's almost certainly Mind Stone. Uh, Mind Stone into Jace. On the next turn. Okay. 
Oh man, I, I do have to deal with faster decks like elves. Uh, there it goes. Right. Witching well. Oh, so we did find another one. There's another... Uh, wait, wait, we actually have enough islands already. So we'll scry them both to the bottom. And just pass right along. So the opponent knows we have a stone coil serpent, except it's not. <laughs> Alright, so elves, this will be fun. Oh boy. Yeah, I think we're going to be a little too slow for this matchup. Uh, pass right along. Actually, this Jace might be a liability. Oh, we might have a guest in here. Hi. Hi, could you close the door, please? Oh, yes. Growing Rites of Itlamok. And what's the... what turns this thing on again? Control four or more creatures. Oh, yep. Yeah. Yep, okay, so that's not a... that's not good. Make a guy's cradle. This is T1 Stoneforge Mystic. This is my baby. Okay, well, Jace is not going to be able to make it for long here, unfortunately. Now I might slightly regret this, just a, just a tiny bit. All right, Jace, see see what you can do. Uh, I will. It's probably better for me to mill myself, for obvious reasons. I think. But what's going on here? Oh, target a player. I targeted my deck. Alright, whale, whale, uh-oh, we might just lose to the fact that we didn't find a Vidalkin. That's not good, that's not good at all. Alright, Jace, see if Jace can live here. Probably not. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say probably not. They have a Gaia's Cradle now, after all. One card in hand, though, so maybe it's nothing. Hopefully it's nothing. Please don't be Crater Hoof. Oh, it's Ooze, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh. oh, okay. Well, the good news is Jace gets to survive one more turn. All right, if I can find a Vidalkin, then we might actually still win this. That is not a Vidalkin. All right. That was an Oracle, though. Okay. Well, you know... Oh, you know what? I should have used Oracle first. Ah, that was really smart, Jay. Right. Really smart. No, it wasn't. I was... I messed up. I think you do good, smart. Well, thank. I appreciate that, but I did mess up nonetheless. Ooh, okay. She's up. To, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yes. Okay. Well, let's see. Do I have the mana? I could sack Mind Stone, get it in hand. No, that's fine. I, I still can't play it this turn. Well, okay. That didn't work out so well. If I had done it the other way around, Thassa's Oracle... Oh, we'd still be one mana shy, wouldn't we? Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, but now now we're going to have a, an issue with... Uh, I need to find a Thassa's Oracle after this Archmage. Alright. Who all is coming at me? Everybody, right? No. Just you? No, more than that. And by the way, it's a uh, beginning of your end step, so that's fine. That's fun. Oh, if they don't attack with more than that, we'll get to do it again, because we can drop this Oracle. The Oracle only has an ETB. Evangeline will be back, don't worry. She'll be back. Okay. Whale. Whale. Well. 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 What is it? I need Evangeline here for that, for the well what is it. I guess we can preserve our life total a bit. Wait a minute. No, we can keep that around because that way we, we need to get further away from zero cards to actually win with Oracle. No blocks. Okay, we're going to have to get through a ton of cards in our deck, but we can do this. We can do this, folks. Alright. I wasn't actually sure... Counting their mana, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, just on that, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, that's three instances. Oh, they could have killed me. Ah, I, I messed up. They could have, oh, no, wait, this is created, that's right, it's not counters, it's creating a news. That's right. I got it backwards. I got it backwards. 
Uh, but yes, it does actually, beginning of your end step, you put the plus and plus one counters on them. So this thing is, technically speaking, huge. Alright, so we'll save the Mind Stone for now. I might regret this, but I, th I think it's correct to save it for a bit. Oh boy, ready? Here goes nothing. So if I play the Buried Ruin, then I'll get to keep one mana and Mind Stone open. No, I need to actually use the Mind Stone for mana here, don't I? So that I still have blue blue open for Thassa's Oracle. Okay, I mean, I might as well do this correctly, right? Okay, so here goes nothing. Uh, Mox Amber, draw a card. Tormod's Crypt. Draw a card. Okay, cool. Ornithopter. Draw a card. Oh, there's Oracle. Ornithopter. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're already running out. Hello? Touchscreen? There we go. Yeah. 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 That was... That was... Really hopeful of me. We did not get there. This. Okay. Yeah, we most certainly did not get there. Alright. How many cards? 34. Devotion is about to be 10. We got not even remotely close. Um, is there anything else that I can do here? If I could find another Amber, I could try to play an Archmage, but alas, I did not. Can I... How do I save myself here? Let's see. Block... What? Don't think we do. I don't think we can save ourselves here. So we put Archmage on top, and then we pass. And see if we can survive a turn. Spoiler alert! We cannot. One, two, three... Yeah, we can't. It's, it's just... What, does it give them trample? No, okay. Okay. As I love this silly, silly, stupid deck. Alright. Okay. Well, it goes in your graveyard. That's fair, I guess. When you have that much mana, you can just do whatever you feel like. Alright, if they swing out with everything, we're dead. Okay. Ah! Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, I, I messed up. I'm about to have Archmate... Oh, Jay. Why are they doing this manually? I admit, it's a little weird. Okay. Yep. Actually, three? Yeah, we're dead. We're exactly dead. Okay. Given that my touchscreen is not working for some reason. Okay, so first first game misplays. I'll, I'll try to play better next time. I'll try to play better. I put an Archmage on top of my deck when I had Archmage in hand and I didn't have any Cheerios. I didn't have any zero drop artifacts. Let's try that again. Hmm. First time playing the combo. Actual first time. I should know better because I tried doing something similar to this back in actually both modern and uh, vintage. Something similar to this. Okay. Uh, yes. Alright, so it has Archmage and Jace. And pass. Why is my touchscreen only sometimes working? That's weird. Do I have to mash it now? I don't feel like doing that. That doesn't typically end up being a good idea. Alright, we'll play Oracle here. I believe. I might actually be interested in saving that. Yeah, we'll do Witch as well, Witching Well first. It'll give me more devotion on Oracle. Okay. 
So we have another island, and we have Ornithopter. That's fine, that's fine. Okay, and pass. Obviously that was the top deck. Oh, she's back. Guess who's back? I think Evangeline is back. Aren't you? Guess who's back? Back again. Eva's back. Okay. One I, second. One second, okay. I'll be right back. With an Ornithopter on top, I don't know that I need to play the Oracle here, actually. So I'm going to wait. I'm not under any pressure just yet. Not just yet. I'm waiting for it, though. Now I could start to face a problem. Well, we actually might have one more turn of Reprieve. Maybe. Let's find out. Does this get to make it? Essence Scatter. Growth Spiral. Okay, okay. Well, hopefully... Oh, it's Field of the Dead? We should be... This should be a fine matchup, then. This should be a fine matchup. I'm going to do this now, just in case they have a way to kill it. Zero, X is zero. Alright. Just gonna blow through my deck real quick. See if I can find another Archmage. That would be nice. Yes, found one. Alright, good, good, good. Good, 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 good. We got there. We got there, folks. This isn't a fight you Ooh. Okay, so bounce Archmage, that's fine. Play an additional land this turn. Oh, if I had known that, I actually can use Stone Coil to try to beat it out. Alright. We play that out, of course. And then pass. Alright, that's, that's getting kind of scary. Look how many lands they have. If you control seven or more lands with different names, Okay, that's another field. I mean, we're almost there. Oh, there's Golos. Now we're in trouble. Alright, so they get two Zambonis. Now we have a real clock. Oh, okay. There we go. Trigger, trigger, trigger. Alright. Okay. So since they're tapped out, play this. Hey there! Hi. How are you? Good. Good, good. Oh, Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay. Maybe we can just combo the opponent out from here. That's the hope, anyway. So we haven't played a land yet. We'll play Island. I could have waited for Castle Vantress, and that probably would have been correct to wait. Two more. Okay. Oh, how many cards do we have left? 39? Let's play the Mind Stone. Tormod's Crypt, okay. There we go. Ah, another Mox Amber. This is silly. This is so silly and I love it. Uh, okay, okay. Now we have not, we've still not reached the end of it just yet. Alright, play another Mind Stone. Oh, pay two. Uh, okay. One. Oh, that's right. I don't have Jace out yet. That's right. That's right. I need Jace to be able to actually make some mana off of that. Okay, well in that case... I don't know that I would like to use the Mox Amber here just yet. No, it's fine. It's still fine. Alright. Uh, it didn't work out. It did not end up working out. Okay. Okay, uh, yeah, then next we will pass turn, and then at end of turn I have to get rid of stuff. Oh, no, not that one. That one? That one. How many more? Uh, Mind Stone? Yeah, there we go. That's fine. Okay, so next turn I can go Archmage, 
31 cards. 31 back. cards. Okay. And I don't actually have to get 31 cards through my deck. I actually only have to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cards through my deck. As long as that doesn't spill, okay? Yes, <laughs> that would be bad. Thank you. Here, I'll, I'll move over here to give you some more room. Okay. So, we actually don't need to hang on to our own... Why are they attacking with the Grazer? Because it's faster, I guess. Uh, we don't actually need to hang on to our Ornithopters. We don't actually use them. Uh, but we need to hang on to everything else. Sorry, everything else. Alright. Now once we have Jace, Mox Amber will actually be turned on. And then we'll get to do silly, 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 silly stuff. But thankfully we have enough mana for Archmage, Thassa's Oracle, Oburo. Okay, we're at 16. How braids look pretty. They do. Be careful with that. But yes, her braids... Her braids? Who? Oh, that thing? Oh. <laughs> it's braids. Yeah, I suppose. I suppose so. Ah, uh, okay. Well, that's not what we hoped to have as our top deck. Okay, well, this is a little bit awkward. A little bit. So we play that, and now we just need to have a streak. Just an absolute streak, and we can get there. This is 12, this is 15 coming at me, plus they can bounce a blocker. Though I'm not too worried about that. Okay, what's going on? They have something they can play. I don't know if it's because of Teferi or they have an instant, but they have something that they can play here. Why is Field of the Dead not banned in this format? I, I mean... Because they were already banning things like fires, it seems to make sense to me that field would be banned too. But I don't know. I, I guess because they have cards like Field of Ruin in now. Okay. Come on. Come on. No. 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 Okay. Okay. We got there. We got somewhere. Scry 2. Good. Yeah, as long as that hit something, we were okay. So then we play this on zero. Confirm. Alright, there you go. Three. One. Two. So many lands! <laughs> oh no. So many lands. Too many lands. All of the lands. Well, I mean, I guess we can play Castle Vantress. It's hardly a point in not doing that, right? Can I help? Oh, yes, yes. Um, Normally, yes, but the touchscreen is being really weird on me today for some reason. Um, yes, I'll play that. Unfortunately, the touchscreen, I've been trying to touch with it, and it's not letting me. I'm having to use the mouse a lot more. There's another Jace. Alright, hang on to that one. Oh, hello. Play an Ornithopter. How many cards do we have left? 21? We're getting pretty close, folks. There's another Ornithopter. Well, take a look and you'll see. Yeah, you have a sneaking suspicion I will? I have a sneaking suspicion we will win. Yeah. I have a sneaking suspicion. Yeah. I actually don't know that I have enough artifacts in the deck, believe it or not. Oh my goodness. And so, they all fight them with all they can, but... Um, yeah. <laughs> Check this out. We win. We actually won this game. We win, Evangeline. I know you would win. Well, thank you. Alright. I, I can put them out of their misery now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are you so sure we Nine, can Oh, math. I can do math on this one. We have to make sure that our devotion is high enough that when we get to the end of our deck, uh, I'll choose Oracle, because it doesn't matter. And then they lose. Ta-da! They lose, we win! Victory! Victory! Yep. Victory! 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 What what are you wearing? <laughs> I like your shirt. It's it's uh, Aunt Jody's shirt, right? It's too big? I think it's Aunt Jody's. Temple of Mystery. Oh, that's that's a good card. I like this a lot. That'll help out. Playing Uro. Alright, so that's one. We'll get another in. With Vidalkin's wait, 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 wait. As fun as that was. We, we can do a couple things here. We can play another deck, 
or we can add red to... Let's play another deck. Let's play another one. If I only get to do this every so often, very, very rarely, I'd like to brew something else. Now, I have no idea what this next one's going to be, so... Um... I guess I'll go to... Hello? Touch... touchpad. Oh. Hello? Did she leave? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Um... Let's go to Rares and Mythics from Jumpstart. And try to get an idea of something silly to... I already talked about Spirit Dancer. Something silly I can play. Um... Lin... What's a card other than Spirit Dancer that I can just make a deck out of? Spirit Dancer just seems too obvious. It does seem fun. Riptide Laboratory. Okay. Um, so Riptide Laboratory. We could do Spirits. That seems pretty low-hanging too, though. But Spirits does seem kind of cool. I mean, I, I guess I could just play Tribal Spirits. What do you all think about that? Is that okay? Is that cool? Um, Spirits. You know, I haven't played Spirits in a long, long time. I know it's not the most, I don't know, how janky of decks. It's not the most brute. No, you know what? Let's keep looking for a little bit. Let's keep looking. See if I can find something else. If not, that's what I'll play. Let's see. Hmm. Something that really jumps out at me. <laughs> I gave that witch a cauldron. Witches love cauldrons. <laughs> okay. Let's see. And then, like, exquisite blood combo. Oh, you know what? You know what? What if, what if, we did the same thing we just did, but with green mana instead? What if we played... Soul of the Harvest. <laughs> uh, and then, in order to actually win the game, we need Thassa's Oracle, or we just drown them in creatures in Crater Hoof, I guess? That's, that's kind of the same thing that Elves normally does anyway, though. But we can make this have, like, a Cheerios focus. So, the object then is ramp to six mana, play Soul, spam creatures. Burning Tree Emissary is banned in this, right? It, that is what it said, I, I believe. Let's go in and, and take a look. Yeah, Burning Tree Emissary's banned. Ah, that's a shame. That would that would work wonderfully for this. We'll still do something, though. Alright, uh, so... You know, that seems... On the one hand, it's similar to what I just did. On the other hand, it's janky enough. I would like to try it out. Alright. Soul of the Harvest. Cool. So, those... And then let's play our one minute elves, <laughs> basically. Add. Okay, cool. So this lets us. That's that's another win condition. Actually, that's a pretty decent win condition. Instead of crater hoof, we can just use Al Alosaurus Ri Shepherd Rider. I was about to say Rider. Yeah. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Why not? All right. So. Yeah, we only have you and Gilded Goose for our early ramp, don't we? Uh, which is fine, because we have other shenanigans we can do. I'll add the rest of you for now. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, we'll say... Is it Elf or Elves? And we have to take it off of one. So let's see. Druid of the Cowl. Incubation Druid. Uh, Leaf Gilder. I have choices. I have lots of choices here. You seem pretty bad, though. Uh, <laughs> sorry, bud. Sorry, I'm gonna sit that one out. Uh, Elvish Archdruid. Lanoir Visionary. I guess Oracle can help us draw through our deck as well. I'll, I'll include more of you. Uh, I'm not sure what the right number is, though. Um... Some number of you seems right. Then we will. Alright. Go through here. Do 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 do. Having more one drops seems important, right? 
But will we have Shepherd and Elves? That might be okay. Dwynen's Elite. We are getting really close. I'm gonna have to take some cards out. I see that already. Um, this just looks like regular Elves, which is a little bit unfortunate. I, I may change something to make it different, but... <sighs> yeah, it, it's just looking like regular Elves now. Fierce Empath for the Soul of the Harvest. I'm going to intentionally go a little too high here, and I can make some cuts in a sec. Alright, so that gives us 12 Lords. That's a decent game plan on its own. Uh, we don't actually need Allosaurus Shepherd. One is probably f although it does give us more one drops. Five one drops, so about half the time we'll have a turn one play, which turns on Dwynen's Elite, which is also kind of unnecessary. Uh, it works for the Lord side of the deck, which is to say that's actually our win con at this point, so Dwynen's Elite is fine. Our win cons are Allosaurus Shepherd and Lords. Lots and lots of Lords. Uh, Fierce Empath being four up, being a four of is silly. That's ridiculous. Especially since we don't actually need the Soul of the Harvest to win. And two Oracles is just to help us thin through our deck. 24 Forest seems a bit much, so I guess I can put another two Allosaurus Shepherds in. I guess Fierce actually would have been okay keeping that around, especially since that's more the focus of the deck. Some number of Fierce Empaths, but this is probably fine. Okay, well, this is this is silly. Not silly in a good way, though, mind you. This is... Uh, basic. Very... Oh, you... Whee! Whee! Oh, 18. Oh, ho you know what? We can actually go... Yeah, hi. We don't need that many lands in this. Hello again. Hello. It's good to have you back, honey. Hmm. So one Castle Garenbrig, because that lets us play Soul a little bit earlier. Okay. Yes, love? We need to put it back where it was. <laughs> need to put what back where it was? Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm. Hey, I love you very much, honey. You make me very, 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 very happy. I need to not make you laugh when you have the milk open, though. <laughs> that that could go poorly. All right, and then we'll add Fierce Empath back in. Take out the land bit, and there we go. So here's the deck as it stands. This is uh, not not great. We'll go down here. Go up one here. Alright, so this is the deck that starts off playing ramp into. <laughs> <Can> you please. <laughs> <laughs> You're silly. Into card draw, into more ramp, into card draw, into card draw, into more creatures and lords and ra <laughs> ramp and draw card draw and yeah, you get the idea. This is this is. Alright, so I'm going to call this now. There is a Cheerios version of this deck, which I probably should do instead, just to be silly. Where. You need to go potty? Yeah. Can I do that with it? I you, think I can do that with Aunt Jody, but... You can go on your own, too, but, yeah, if you need help. But you can you can go on your own. Or I can go, or you can... Or she can go, or... How, as long as you go, okay, so that, no, we don't have a mess. Uh, I can... It'll be okay. I'll still be here. Uh, a Cheerios version of this deck would include things like Ornithopter... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, it only cares about elves. Allosaurus Shepherd only cares about elves. Ornithopter, Chamber Sentry, Stone Coil Serpent, and uh, Lanor Elves, and Silly Boots over here. <laughs> Captain Silly Boots. Are you Captain Silly Boots? I'm Captain. I'm Captain Silly Boots. <laughs> you to save the day. <laughs> You're so silly. Aye aye. Aye aye. Now, if I do that, which does seem a little bit jankier, if I do that, uh, my one drops, my, yeah, one mana creatures, Allosaurus Shepherd doesn't help as much because I don't have as many elves, but I'll still have some number of it. Yeah, let's do that. That's sillier. 
Do I need to wait? <laughs> I don't know. What are you doing? <laughs> You're so silly. <laughs> I'm glad you think my hair is great. I do. I think it's great too. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you good on me. I do, don't I? Watch out. Watch out. I, I can't. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about it. Hey, I listen. Like... I... So, artifact creatures. Let's go into one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Because it doesn't have to be an artifact anymore. Oh, wait a minute. I thought that I sorted... Yeah, I did sort artifact on. You're not an artifact. Oh! Oh! Arena! Arena, you messed up! <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. We'll live. Alright, so now we still have too many creatures. And also we need an actual win con. Like, uh... Our good friend Hoof. Oh, yeah. I may want to change how I'm sorting it. Here we go. Hi, Hoofy. Hoofy. That's its name. I don't know that I need that many. Two is fine. We'll, we'll draw into it. Now I need to take out a few cards that are not lands. Fierce Empath, maybe I don't need quite that many, but it also goes and gets Crater Hoof. So that seems like it could be okay. So one Shepherd actually still seems unnecessary. Dwynan's Elite goes down, and then, yeah, there's the deck. There's, there's the deck. So, uh, Wincon is Soul Beats, but more likely Crater Hoof with a bunch of creatures. And Chamber Sentry, Stone Coil Serpent, Ugin's Conjurant come down at zero or near zero mana. Uh, I can just play them for one each. <laughs> okay, this is so dumb, but at least that looks a lot jankier. This is infinitely less viable. Oh, I forgot to give it a name. Infinitely less viable, but... It's okay. Soul of the Cheerios. I can spell Cheerios, folks. Hey, there we go. I can spell. All right, cool. Let's try it. All right, next next go at a at a brew, at a silly silly brew, Storm Brew. Welcome to Storm and Historic. Hammer Elf. And <laughs> I'm playing elves. Elves. Okay, this is fine. There's no ramp, though. That's a little awkward. Uh-oh. Yeah, seeing a mountain on turn one. That oh, and a Grim Lava Mancer, too. Well, that's not great. I guess I can play the Serpent on one. No, we can wait. Um, do want to do something, though. All right, there we go. That'll be okay. And then pass. I could have waited. That might have been correct for me to wait. I would like for them to spend resources shooting this down instead of uh, one of my creatures down the road, I suppose. Which is not right. All right, it's cool. We're going to wait. It's visionary. It's vision is scary. All right, draw a card. Oh, okay, sure. No attack because, yeah, you know, why be smart? Oh, I shock. That's fine. This already seems like a pretty good start against us, to be honest. If they can keep us off of creatures, like like it looks like they're able to do, we're in a bit of trouble. Now we can get ourselves out of range with a stone coil serpent that's big enough. Though that's not what we're doing right yet. We're going to play Fierce Empath, and see if we can find our Soul of the Harvest. Oh, hello. Hi, Soul. Okay. Yeah, welcome to Silly Janky Brews from T1 Glistener Elf. Oh, yeah, oh. Take action. <laughs> 
Yeah, I will. I will take that. I find that it's often more often than you might think to take the four. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we're still not actually getting up to the point where we can cast that soul anytime too soon. So instead, it might be right to try to go on the make a mega uh, stone coil serpent, make two mega stone coil serpent plan. All right, let's see if they'd like to snipe anything. If you strike me down, I shall become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. All right. Yeah, this Llanowar Elves is just dead. So... But with my life total as high as it is, maybe I can afford to get away with this. Plus it gives me another turn to draw a land that I can use to uh, make a bigger serpent. And turn. Alright, so Llanowar Elves is dead. It's going to get shocked here. Only a question of when. And she's back for round three. I love you. I love you. I was in that oh, I believe you. I believe you. And they gave up Big Chandra. Big Chungus. Okay. My tummy's so hot. I believe you. Would you like to come over here? Yeah, but I might have to lay down. Well, that's okay. I don't think they can see you, but yes. Oh Oh, they're leaving the Llanowar Elves, at least for now. With no cards in their graveyard, that is a risky play, because if I find a land here... Well, I don't know. <laughs> here. I'm gonna scratch her head like she's a kitty cat. My tummy hurts. Oh, I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. I'm just from Huddy, so I don't know what's making her hot. Me neither. I think I had too much. Oh, okay. I think I had too much. You might have. Oh, oh, I was at exactly ten. They got me. I was not expecting that. Done. Yeah, they beat me that time. That was a card that I definitely was not expect. That would have been neat to brew around. That would have been really, really neat. Okay, uh, I can't, I don't know that I can quite play in fear of that. Would you like to come around here so you can see the screen? You can see oh, oh, where you have to be for them to see you. Hi, Thanatos, god of death. There's a reason why Thanos was the name of the uh, character in Marvel. <gasps> Marvel? Marvel. Marvel. Like, that's the game that we were playing, remember? Marvel. Oh, now no, the touchscreen's no. working. When we were playing all the superheroes? Screen. Yep. Playing all the superheroes with each other? That's what I need to do. Yeah. Oh, uh, one of those, please. One of the forest over on the left. There it goes. Okay. And then Elvish Visionary. Elvis. Elvis Visionary. Elvis Visionary. I'm, I'm joking. It's it's Elvish, but I like saying Elvis. All right, now we'll see if we get to resolve anything else this game. There's Uro. Okay. Oh, please be the uh, field deck again. We can beat field. It's just not great. Oh, well, there that is. Another forest, please. Okay, and uh, that one, the second one with the blue box. Lanawar Visionary. Yep, that's the one. That was the... That was free, but okay. <laughs> we get to attack them again. Wasn't the second one, but that was yeah. free, Castle Vantress. Ugin. Uh-oh. So it's going to go plus. Yeah, plus. Okay, this is fine. Uh, that four is there, please. Okay. So now... We're in a weird spot. Uh, oh, the puppy. Yeah, my touchscreen sometimes acts up. Sometimes it doesn't behave properly, I, I guess. Oh, come on, deck. Come on. We'll pass. Well, at least we have enough for soul next turn. <gasps> okay, we lose. We lost. <laughs> yeah, that's unfortunate. Um, we can't really beat that card. 
if we can't counter it, and we're not playing a colorless deck, then we can't... And we're not playing, like, another ramp deck, then we can't beat that. Unfortunately. I guess Field could beat it, but we cannot. Alas. Harleen. I wonder what she's gonna do now. Let's see what we can find here. <laughs> Nothing. The field is empty. <laughs> Good game, everyone. No cards. <laughs> it's just loading, I guess. Waiting for server. Waiting for server. Mm. I love you. Mm. You're gonna see the top of your head. Mm. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. Well, this one is kind of everything we need. What's this one? Stone Coil Serpent. Well, you're gonna play it play it for zero mana, probably. Uh, the idea is supposed to be we get out Soul of the Harvest. That's Ornithopter. It's a little... It's like a drone, I guess. It flies and it's a robot. The idea is that we get out Soul of the Harvest, play a bunch of the... Oh, wow. Pass. What were you about to say? Uh, play this thing, Soul of the Harvest, and then we just don't let the opponent win. That's the idea. That's the hope. Yeah, this is what I get for not playing regular elves, but playing this silliness. <laughs> mm -hmm. Aww. Mm -hmm. I do like when you... I'm sorry. I do like when you cuddle like this. I like cuddles, but this... This is the Flash deck. I can already tell. They're playing Colors for Flash, and here comes Growth Spiral. Or not. Or I maybe. You found the butterfly. Okay. Oh, that TV light. Now, we don't have any lands or ramp, so actually we might be in a pickle. Oh, the yep, flash deck. Yep. Do we lose or do we win? Well, we'll find out, but it's not necessarily looking great right now. We need to have a string of, of mana coming up here. Mana spells. And we need them to resolve against a deck that normally doesn't let us resolve spells from this point. Well, that counts as mana, I suppose. Uh-oh. And pass. If we need to, we'll start playing Stone Cold Serpents. Just to try to block them. It's not ideal. Thieves Guild Enforcer. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to have enough time against this deck. Unfortunately. I don't think we will. Yeah, they knew what not to attack with. So I could give up both of my creatures to kill the Cutthroat. And that actually might not be a bad idea. I have a feeling that there's a kill spell here, though. Like, there has to be. They're making it what should... It's a pretty obvious attack, I think. But we can't keep doing that for much longer. There's a visionary. Alright, see if it resolves. It does, okay. Draw, please draw land. That's not a land. We don't have enough time. Uh oh. We just, we don't have enough time, unfortunately. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's game. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. This is what I get for not playing the ideal version of the deck. I, I would still like to get this to work. I would like to try this out. Soul of the Harvest always seems like a fun card for me to brew around, so... And I, I do play it in Modern ever so occasionally. On the extreme off chance that I play Elementals sometimes. Okay. Yes, love? I'm I listening. I think I have a mark near my knee. <laughs> you have a mark? Oh! You're not kidding. Come here, please. Versus X carry. Oh yeah, no kidding. How did that happen? I don't, Ooh. I don't this does not seem great. Only one land. That's better. Yeah, that's much better. We'll keep. And we put the conjurant on the bottom. 
much. I, I don't like to mulligan, but when you only play, what, 18 lands in your deck, could you take that forest, please? Move it up, please. Yep. And then there's our fancy little elf. Can we see the next one? Oh, yeah, sorry. I mean the next card. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be forest. Sometimes my touchscreen is being weird. It doesn't always respond. Oh yeah, go for it, go for it. Okay. Alright, and then, uh, could you play that one? The Visionary. Okay. Yep, there we go. It'll draw us another card, which found us a Soul of the Harvest. Okay. So we have four mana going into this. We'll play Fierce Empath into Crater Hoof. What, I have a feeling that once we actually get the engine going, we'll be okay. But we have to actually get the engine going first. Domri, oh, uh-oh. That's pretty good. Oh, for them. For them, yeah. Could you play in path, please? Yes. If it's going to thin our deck, if nothing else. Take action. Hoofy. Hi, Hoofy. And if we need to, we can start playing Stone Coil Serpents a bit early. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to. Alright, gave it haste. Yep. Oh, actually, wait a minute. This should be Chamber Sentry first, shouldn't it? Well, no, because we actually do need the protection for multicolored. Alright. Pass. Nope. So, pro multicolored means we don't have to worry about Gruel Spellbreaker. Oh! Nice! And yeah, that's a green effect. Thanks. I think we lose. We do. You know, I might need to put more lands into the deck. Maybe. Over Fierce Empath? Let's, let's try that out. Alright. We haven't come across Oracle at all. So, add one more forest. Puts us to 20 lands. Okay. That might help a tiny bit with our consistency. Hi. Hi. Do you have, like, chapstick on? Is that what's on your lips? What are on my lips? I wasn't sure if you had chapstick on. Alright, so we can keep that. What does it look like? Does it look like chapstick? A little bit. To me it does. I don't know. It feels like chapstick. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe then. It's not chapstick. Okay, if you say so. I haven't even touched my chapstick today. Okay. Uh, Wily uh, Goblin. Dr. Do Wily. How do I should probably get some chapstick? Oh, honey, you don't... I don't think you need it. If I hadn't said anything, you wouldn't have thought about it. Could you come here, please, so that we can all see you? I believe you. I don't know, honey. I wish I knew the answer for you. That would be... that would be good. Let's see, I could go one... Ooh, wait a minute. This is this is interesting. I can go... Oh! No, we were just one mana shy from being able to play Soul. That's okay. Alright. I'll let this determine... Is it an Ugin's Conjurant? Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. Play another Conjurant, or get another Conjurant. In that case, so this triggers at the beginning of your end step. Okay, for one, auto pay. And then this will trigger Growing Rights of Itlamok. And now we have a Guy's Cradle. I think we're, we might win this one. Could you come here, please? 
We might actually win this game, I Evangeline. I think we're gonna win this. Oh, Terror of the Peaks. Well, if there's anything that might keep that from being the case, it's this thing. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield in your control. Oh, that creature's power. Uh oh. Um, yeah, we have to do this now, don't we? No, no, we don't. One, two, three, four, five, six. Soul of the Harvest, which I will always hear as harvest like a, uh, a, what is it? All right, let's do Ugin's Conjurant for zero. Confirm. Yep. Take action, draw a card. I can do a Stone Coil Serpent really, really big. A really big Stone Coil Serpent. Alright, this Oracle of Moldiah is just dead, unfortunately. It will just be dead. Uh, you can try to go big on the Visionary. We'll get to draw two cards. Yep. There we go. Visionary, again. Ooh, we have a land, at last. At last, a land. Okay. We can go... Uh, elves? Ooh. Yes. Draw again. Please be another. Nope, okay. And I could play Stone Coil, but I'm actually going to save the Stone Coil Serpent, I think. Although it might be right to play it just so that I have an easier time finding Crater Hoof. Uh, I didn't find it. That's okay. Alright, let's see if we can get there. Next turn, I hope. Next turn is the plan. What is this thing? Perforous Bronze Blooded. Uh oh. Seven deals it to Soul. Uh oh. Well, that's not great. But that's actually okay, isn't it? Alright, Reach. Wait a minute. Less than five. Haste. So it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's fine. We'll still be okay if we block here. Alright. There that went. Alright. Let's do this. Six mana, but only for creatures. Then three of it to get Crater Hoof. And I think we're going to win. I think that we win this one. Yeah, we just we just play it and win. Play it and win, folks. Ta-da! Alright. Give him the thanks. Boom, boom. Alright, cool. Cool, we got there. Minus 65. Okay, well, so there's that. <laughs> there is that. Crater Hoof got, got us there. So that's, that's another win. Let's do some more brewing while we have some time. Shacklegeist. Can only block creatures with flying tap. Okay. Uh, I mean, sure. I guess it's like an opposition spirit. That seems okay, especially if I am going to brew spirits. Hey, money! Okay, cool. Uh, so let's brew something else up. Soul of the Cheerios. So another brew I could do is... You know what? I'm just going to be the kid in the candy shop. I'm, I'm, I know that this isn't going to be... Uh, the most... <laughs> this isn't going to be the most original, but just let me let me have some fun, please. Aura. Alright, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Guess what I'm building? Alright. But actually, before we keep going, let's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
Um, you know, I could do the uh, Orzhov version of the deck that runs the 1-2 for 1 mana with lifelink instead of running uh, Transcendent Envoy, I guess. That, that would give me access to a few more pretty decent ones, too. That'd be kind of interesting. Uh, but yeah, let's do Eidolon. One, two, three, four. All right, take that out. Um, let's see. Actually, no, we can go here and do Aura. Because there's a particular one for which I'm looking. I haven't seen it yet. Let's see. You know, so, well, I'll keep this here just in case I add it. Just, it'll be easier for me to see. Heh. <laughs> Auras cost one less. Yeah, but you cost three. Not, there it is. Face of Divinity. This is the closest thing that we have to Daybreak Coronet in the format. Uh, and then, I guess I can add a few more in here. I'm not, I don't think I would like to do the Orzov one just yet, but let, let's try it. Let's try it out. So, if I were to do this, if I were to do black, gives me, return that card to its owner's hand, Demonic Vigor, Hateful Eidolon, Ghost Form, protect it, I guess, Eternal Thirst, uh, Infernal Scarring, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know that, I don't know. It doesn't seem... Now, to be fair, though, those decks typically don't actually use the black for the auras, with the exception of maybe, like, ghost form. Uh, those are... Well, or they could be the kinds that are throwing the auras on your opponent's creatures. That would be interesting. Uh, well, in that case, if I'm doing that, I can take out Transcendent Envoy, put in Hateful Eidolon. One, two, three, four. Take out some number of you. I, I could still do one Envoy, and somebody... Okay, I can't help myself. I'm I'm partially sorry. I'm a little sorry. Alright, so Sentinel's Mark makes the cut then. In my estimation, Sentinel's Mark makes the cut. Okay, and then for my next trick, uh, we have to do the land base. So let's do that real quick. Oh, hi. Do that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Why does she keep leaving for a bit? She'll be back, but... Ah, silly boots. I would like to actually be able to play my stuff on turn one, though. So, yeah, I guess we'll do... One, two, three, four. That's a lot of lands that come in tapped on turn one, though. And then... Play the lands. Just grab the lands for it. One, two, three, four. There we go. Oh, hi. Hi. Alright, so that's 20 lands, which I think is enough. It's actually maybe a bit more than I need. Uh, but all the trick is that the black mana is often going to come in tapped, which is a little bit unfortunate. It's not ideal. I could run... There's way too much white mana for me to go in on lands that only make black, though, I think. So, like, Swamp... So we'll try this out. I'll actually remember to give it a name. Uh, Black White Bogle, or what is up Bogles? It's not even running any Bogles, but you know. I <laughs> call it a modern deck. Which, you know, would be true. It is a modern deck. Alright, so there, here this goes. Here goes nothing. Only one black card in the deck. That's it. Still worth. Maybe. We'll see. Evangeline! Versus Reato. Okay. Uh, yep. We have a creature. We have everything we need. Pay two life. Hello? Mouse. What is going on here? My computer. My poor computer. Okay, so things we can do here. Solid footing, vigilant... Alright, so I guess we'll start off by playing you. Good. And then solid footing on here. Although that does mean I don't have the mana for that. But it's okay, we'll draw a card if this thing dies. Alright. 
Hey! Oh wait, that doesn't count. That doesn't count. Let's 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 keep it going. That doesn't count. They saw the writing on the wall there though. That would have been that would have been so good though to keep it going. For that one game. Where is she? Where is my silly boots? I'm gonna go find her. Right be right back. Ooh, well, this is a hand. Uh it doesn't have black mana for Eidolon, but it does for Transcendent Envoy, so we'll keep it. Oh! Ooh, two different... Well, okay. Hold that control. Where is she? Good news, this thing flies. Bad news. It is probably dead here in a second. And because I didn't have another land, I couldn't really wait. Ah, brain magnet. Okay, uh-oh. That takes all the glitters. Hmm. Hmm. Hello. Did you come here, please, honey? Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Hey, help. My tummy a little bit. Oh, is that what was going on? I was trying to go poop, and I got oh. Well, I'm, I'm glad that helped out, then. Hi, Azul. So we have a big creature. It's a 4-9 creature. Now I wish I had played that black enchantment that gave plus two plus out. Oh, Uh-oh. So now we're in trouble. Now we're in a lot of trouble, actually. If we don't find a creature, we lose. I actually won one game while you weren't here, unfortunately. So... But that one was very, very short. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh no, they can take our idol on. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. That means we just need a creature. What does that swirl mean? What is that swirl? It's my cards that are exiled. Ooh, they get to take my Sentinel's Mark. We won't concede just yet because we could actually still make it out from this, but it's not looking great for us, I'm afraid. Pass. Honey, you have a sticker in your hair. How'd you get a sticker in your hair? It's a bunny. Oh, I know what that's from. A bunny sticker in your hair. All right. Uh, now we lose. I can see that clock. Unfortunately, even if we had a creature come right off the top, we wouldn't be able to keep ourselves in the game. Unfortunately. Oh, you have a bunny sticker. So it's going to stick to my bunny. Your egg, yep. That's what that was from. Oh. Uh, when you get done with that, please come here, please. We have a, an opponent that we've played before. It's been a while, though. It's been a long time. Pongo. Alright. Creature. Yep, we're good. This is great. This is great. We're actually probably, depending on what we see our opponent playing, we might wait on the Spirit Dancer so that we can play Sentinel's Eyes on the same turn. Mm -hmm. Oh. You getting sleepy? No. Are you sure? I'm you look tired. I'm not. Okay. Do you think you could come up here so that they could see you, please? I scooched over to the side so that they would have an easier time seeing you. I, I mean, up here, not just not just your butt. <laughs> they can't see your butt. I don't know that they would like to see your butt. Oh, oh here, I'll make some room. Ready? Pretty, please? No. Uh, yeah, with those colors, I'm going to wait. I'll play Spirit Dancer in just a second. Oh, Corpse Knight. Oh, okay. And here we go. Big stuff. Hello? Hello? Touch screen. There we go. They can see you a bit. Yay! My 
breath. Oh, my shirt. My shirt's unbuttoned. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> oh, Corpse Knight does its thing. <laughs> silly. You're so silly. <laughs> Alright, so we don't have a way to give it trample yet. We're getting there, though. Alright, Face of Divinity gives it First Strike and Lifelink. Alright, now I use this on my main face. So, it will... Oh, there we go. Interesting. 6'9", 69. 69 height. Oh, you're talking to the puppy? Trying to get the puppy to join us? Draw a card. I probably should have actually played Eidolon there instead, since I can't swing through anyway. I mean, I can. Yeah, my, my uh, touch screen is sometimes not... Here, you can try again. You can try again. Oh, you got it to work. Hey, there we go. You gotta press rods to get the ammo. Yeah, I think you kind of have to push a little harder than normal on my screen. That's not good. Actually, it might just be this program. I can see. Well, I don't know. I'll test it out later. So there's Shadow Spear. It'll give it lifelink. But mine has Vigilance and other stuff. All right. Let's give him the... Well, let's not give him the good game yet. Let's make sure that this resolves first. If it resolves, then we win. Oh, we... Okay. Now let's give him the good game. Because now we can play another one. Sack this one. Give it protection from black. All right. He gains first strike to under turn. Sure. Oh, uh, we won! We won again! Yeah! Alright, so that silly deck brought to you by Modern. <laughs> brought to you by my watching Reed Duke at Worlds. Oh, Hey, that's really we'll do. Alright, well, that's uh four wins. I would like to do one more brew. I would like to do one more brew. And then, be, since we have access to this, and then I'll call it. Okay. So. Hmm. I'm not tired. You're not, you're, if you say so. Spirit. We'll, we'll go for some spirits, I guess. Okay. You know what, actually, let's go for spirits with flying. Though I guess it's not strictly necessary. So, Remorseful Cleric. Ooh. Uh, sure. Spirit of the Spires doesn't seem great. Uh, obvious Spectral Sailor is obvious. Hmm. Angel Spirit. Okay. Rattle Chains. Seems obvious. Okay. Some number of Kira. Let's see. A Dungeon Geist. What are we at? 52? Um, I don't know how many of those is correct. You are a bird wizard, but you do make spirits. You're a bird wizard. Now, because the deck can play at instant speed so well... Oh, too, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Essence Scatter. Alright, this seems weird. Uh, where's Battleground Geist? That's... Mm, I don't know. Doesn't seem too great. Uh, Essence Scatter... to Fairy. Okay, so there we go. There's our deck. Uh, let's fix the mana base up a bit, and we'll be good. We will be okay. One, two, three. Hello? No, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Uh, one, two, three, four. I love you, honey. Aww. I believe you. 
least a little bit of less would help. Probably. You get all the rest you need, honey. This is me not blaming you one bit. Oh my goodness. You have nothing to be sorry about. You go back to Essence Scatter. Put in Dovin's Veto in place of it. Zorius Spirits here. Oh my goodness. That's right, you didn't get a nap over there, did you? Yeah, that's fair. That that will do it for sure. That will make it trickier. <sighs> okay. Um actually the hang next Oh you they forgot over there? I'm sorry. That's never fun. <laughs> you probably remember that. I, I imagine that you're right. Probably right. Uh, and then I guess I can put in four Fable Passage. And that should do it. Four Fable Passage. Two planes, two island, bunch of lands. Glacial Fortress gets weird when we have all of these uh, non- Plains or islands, but I think that we can make this work. At least I hope so. Okay, we'll play that instead. Azorius Spirits for one more go. One last hurrah. Once we get one more win, we'll be okay. The okay for the day. In fact, if I hurry, we might even be able to get this before the hour and a half mark. Unlimited buffet. Well, I dislike eating, so that doesn't work out for well for me. Uh, I will go first. Sure, this is fine. Like, no joke, I actually just dislike eating. I, I wouldn't if I didn't have to. It's the kind of thing that to me seems like a waste of time. It's a little disenchanting, and I know that, but I can't help it. That's just how I feel. I, I understand that there are people that use it as a, a means of, like, socializing, or they make it into an art form, like Michael, or they just you know, like to do for other people, which that's the one I can get behind, but for me, I just don't like to eat. <laughs> you can, you, you clearly wouldn't be able to tell by looking at how <laughs> scrawny I am. I don't know, I'm, I'm the opposite of like, uh, of like low tier god where I, I never skip leg day, but just looking at the waist up, I don't look I don't look too athletic, I think. I think. But I like to run. I don't know. I don't think she's asleep just yet. Are you asleep? Oh, she's not. Okay. Yeah, I'm just I'm scratching her back over here, and so she is really relaxing to it. Which I am okay with. I'm glad you're relaxing, honey. I'll take you downstairs in a bit. If you don't mind, just let me get one more win out, please. I'd appreciate that, and then we'll be good. Yeah, oh, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. I forgot to have you help me. That's right. I don't know if I forgot or I was just being courteous and letting you rest. Yeah, uh, we, we got her today um, from, her, from her mom, and she did not get a nap over there, so she is tired, bless her heart. Yeah, not that you remember. That's fair. That makes sense. So we will get an island. If you don't mind, if you can come up here and you can help me with this next turn, honey. Could you play out that one on the far left, please? Yes. Thank you. And then we'll pass. So this lets us hold up Dovin's Veto or Rattle Chains. Either one. I have a triple Rattle Chains hand. This is fun. Uh, yeah. On my turn. Would you like to play out the rattle chains for me, please? It's that one with the blue box around it, please. Oh. I understand, honey. I understand. You're okay. Hmm.
the damage to a player planeswalker. Okay. Right. Imperial Eagle, it is a spirit, so it does have flash now. Can't play the dungeon geist. That would be very nice, but alas, I cannot. Okay. On to damage. And then I'll just remember to play this. Let's see, when my opponent goes to attack. Primal Might gets plus X plus X till end of turn, then it fights up to one target creature you don't control. Okay, so we'll just use this to tap the creature down now. Uh, we do lose the Rattle Chain, but it's okay, we'll be able to get another one out in just a bit. Deals combat damage. Uh, they're saying good game, but oh, oh, they're conceding now. I I had the dungeon guys, so I think I was in good shape to go for it there, just to play the geist out. Uh, especially since they're mono green, their only removal would be fighting. So yeah, we we got it on the first try with spirits because that's a, a real deck. <laughs> Warden of the Woods. Okay, interesting. Um. It's a big creature, and if they try to get rid of it, you draw two cards. You draw two cards. Uh, now, it has to be something the opponent controls, but still, that seems pretty okay for an uncommon. It seems like a good budget win con. As much as I have enjoyed this event, I think that I need to help somebody uh, get downstairs, get into her bed. So, I will see you all later, Magic Community. Uh, <laughs> take care, everybody. Uh, if you have any decks that you tried out that you would like to uh, let me know about, feel more than free to let me know in the comments. That would be kind of cool. I'd like to see what all everyone else wanted to brew. If I had a little bit more time, there is one other thing I'd like to try out, but it would take quite a while to get through. And I actually might come back and do it. Well, no. Okay. Since she's already out, She's already out like a light. I'll do one more. Uh, win or lose, I'm just going to do one more. Okay. And you'll see the theme for this one pretty quickly. Alright. <laughs> you already know. You already know where this one's going. Uh, let's see. There's so many choices, actually. There are so many choices. So first, let's start off with yeah, this this guy. We'll play Grixis. I would I would like to try out Grixis. Uh, we'll do you and you and oh, I'm not too crazy about you since we won't be running too many creatures in this. Uh, but then let's drop down. To, oh, let's go to. What do we have for Demir? We have Ashiok, we have Ashiok, we have Ashiok! Okay. I think you see where that's going. We have Sahili, Royal Scions, uh, Rao, also Rao, Nyarset, if I feel like splashing white, which I might. Um, hmm. I'll consider it, I'll consider it. Let's get. Need you, Luca. As cool as you are. And you are really cool. Alright, discard up to... Now, this Jaya would be used basically for the second plus. Discard up to three cards, then draw that many cards. Fire Artisan, Fireblood. I, I would be running some dragons. Alright, what do you do? I actually do not remember. Is she like a the dual deck one? Yeah, she seems like it. Although, that Minus can win the game, right on, just on the spot. Just one damage to, Well, I don't know that I have enough creatures to really plus very much. Obviously, you go in. You go in. Uh, uh, Dragon Soul. One damage to each opponent and each creature your opponents control. That seems pretty good. I can't believe I don't remember you. 
search your library for any number of dragon creature cards, which is one right now. I'll, I'll put you in for now. We'll go from there, see how, see how you get to stay, if you get to stay. Uh, Baby Jace seems kind of interesting, I guess, but we'll keep you out for now. Uh, Jace? You know what? This is fine. That's, that's fine. We're at 42 cards. Uh, to Fairy, of course, of course. And any of these I can make more of, of course. I almost certainly will. Alright, and then that just leaves the black ones, which is Liliana of the Zombies, which isn't really a focus of my deck. Uh, Liliana, Waker of the Dead. Necromancer. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. No. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna give my opponent cards. Yeah, it does damage. I don't know about Hate Twisted. I don't know. Dreadhorde General, obviously. Vampire Lord. I mean, Scheming Gorgon. Okay. That's more like it. That's more like it. Now, let's look for the other ones that are multicolored with black. We can create a creature that has menace and do some shenanigans with it. This one just gives me some death touch creatures. Creature you control with death touch deals damage. Okay. Uh, I mean, maybe, just to keep me alive a little bit. And now we need to actually find some ways to keep ourselves alive, speaking of which. So, let's look for Languish, now that we're getting ourselves out of Planeswalkers. Alright. So, Languish, of course. Destroy. Heartless Act. Seems okay. Gonna be focusing way on the black because... When we look at Nico Bolas Dragon God, it's mostly black. So what else? Elder Spell. <laughs> okay. Jeez. Jeez. I kind of would like to do that. Well, I don't know how many planeswalkers I'm going to see. Nah, that's maybe a little much. Uh, and then we'll do. We need something else that's low to the ground, though. We need some other like. Walk the plank. What are the odds I'm going to come across merfolk here? Not that much. In one game, probably not coming across merfolk, especially since I haven't seen it at all yet. So now we need to start thinning through the planeswalkers that we have. Putting in ones that do more for us, I suppose. Uh, so Jace, Wielder of Mysteries, doesn't seem great. It's just four mana, draw a card every turn. That doesn't seem especially good. Especially since we have cards that are doing the same thing, but better. We have Narset. This Jace could theoretically be like a way to stall by giving me creatures. If there's no pressure, I can plus so that I can just make more. Um, otherwise, I don't know how great that is. Other than that, you know, this is looking kind of okay. The triple red here is maybe a bit of a problem, but the card draw just seems too good. But then again, Fire Artisan is kind of just going to do the same thing. So we'll take that out, put in another Fire Artisan. I'll take out Cunning Castaway, actually. Uh, anything else? I could put in another Dragon, so that Sarkon can get more Dragon shenanigans going on. Uh, I could take out, or put in another Ongreth. Hmm number of cards in their graveyard. And this one is asymmetrical, unlike Liliana here. Um, Awakened Inferno. I don't know that I need that many more actual win con cards. We're, we're pretty... a lot of these are just going to be extra win cons anyway. So... I'm gonna take out Ob and put in... Let's see... Hmm... Sahili, I guess? Anything else? We're going to go with uh, 25 lands for this. So now that we've done all of that, 
Let's see. Oh, good. Here we go. Let's go here. There we go. One, two, three, four. And where's the scry one? Temple. I guess it would be temple. Okay, so cool. Let's do this. I actually do this first. Gives me a slightly better idea of where I stand going into this. Because black is the, the more important color in the deck, of course. Uh, and so steam vents, one, two. Probably going to be, yeah, three. Temple of Epiphany, one, two, three. And that leaves us with, oh, good grief. Good grief, good god. All right, so we're missing three then, right? Make sure I'm looking at this correctly. The number of lands is 22. Yeah, so we're missing three. Um, and there isn't one for Grixis. There isn't a Triome for Grixis. So it seems like the obvious answer to me would be just to add in the extra Steam Vents, Temple, and then something else that makes black mana. With the secondary color probably being blue, because blue gets used a bit earlier in the game for Narset and Teferi. So then the last one will be a Dismal Backwater. Uh, okay, so I'm going to call this... Wait a minute. Yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I don't know. Nickel Bolaz. <laughs> uh, yeah, there we go. That's that's it. That's that's the deck. So switch out. Do one more. Keep. Oh my goodness. Ah, honey, I love you so much. Yep, she's out. Cause <laughs> if she weren't. That's always a, I love you too, as you may have, oh jeez, I may have should have gone to 26 lands actually, looking at this, oh uh, boy, I mean we'll keep it, but I need to find stuff, I need to find some lands. I also did not include card draw because this is just me in the candy store I guess, planeswalker, 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 drop a planeswalker every turn. If I were playing white instead, or in addition, then that would give me cards like Teferi... Yeah, we're playing this now. Oh, language goes. That would give me cards like Oath of Teferi, so that I could use Planeswalker abilities twice per turn. Uh, yeah, that seems like it'd be okay. So, actually, yeah, four color would be better, for sure. Uh, play this. Uh, yeah, that's, let's keep that. That seems good. All right, it looks like a bit of a slow start, be because it is, actually. Okay. Okay, so let this come in tapped. Hello. And pass. We can hold up Heartless Act. Ooh, okay, oh, it's tokens. Um. Now I really wish I had the Languish. I mean, it was right to push it down because I didn't know when I was getting another land. Ah, uh, You idiot. You idiot. Jay. Oh, you idiot. I should have used Heartless Act first. That's what I get for talking, I guess. Dragon fire. Oh god. Yeah, we could use a languish here. Well, let's stem the bleeding a little bit. It only changes the clock ever so slightly, though. Okay. Only ever so slightly. Uh oh. Uh, if I had taken. No, it's fine. This that was correct. That was correct. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I, I just need to keep myself alive, keep myself in the game. I guess the dinosaur. 
Sorry, Dino. Alright. If I had the other one, we'd be in okay. We'd be in a shape. Okay. Draw a card each time. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Story target creature, Planeswalker. Yeah, so I can get Bolas down, but he dies. I wouldn't get very much out of it, unfortunately. I wouldn't get very much out of him at all. Still, it's probably okay. I could use the card draw. Oh boy. Okay, well... Uh-oh. Let's see how they do this. Uh-oh. What's the only creature in their deck? Ah ha 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 ha. Good game. Alright, so it didn't end up mattering. That I didn't play the Heartless Act properly. It did not end up mattering. That is a good card. Transmogrify? Yeah, the Luca Transmogrify deck. You don't even need any jumpstart shenanigans. I mean, obviously it helped there. Jeez, that was good. That was good. Give it another go. Alright. Wizus. Haven't played you yet before. I'm finding a surprising, well, maybe surprising to me anyway, number of players that I've already seen. Alright. So we'll go. Ooh, hello. Yeah, backwater first then. Well, I, I don't want to cash in the temple just yet. If that makes any sense. Cutter bones, okay. Alright. Yeah, they have another. Um. Okay, so if I let this thing go, it hits me, activates, hits me for four, five, six. It's a lot of damage. I can still kill it with Languish later on. No, this, this is fine. Yes, that's good. Okay. So I'll, I'll take some damage here. Yeah, I will. That's okay. Alright, what is this? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh. That's not good. It's not good at all. That's okay. That's that's a fine card. Okay, let's see. They'll attack first, of course. They better. They better attack first. Oh. Well, unfortunately, I think I have to do this. All right. Yeah, that was the only option because that that has a counter now. Okay, good, good. It, it hurts. I'm hurt, dog. Don't ask if I'm okay. Alright. So, I would like to save Anguish since I have a kill spell anyway. Pass. We're not using that Ashiok. Heck no. No way. Alright, please put the enchantment on now. Please do this by paying three life and discarding a card in addition, to, in addition to paying its other cost. Plus three, plus one, and flying. The fact that it recurs itself, I mean, it's not like modern playable or anything. It seems too slow for Pioneer, even. Oh, that's fine. Please let me respond. Why did I not get a chance to respond? Seriously, what happened there? I had black black open. What gives? What happened there? I I have no idea what just happened there. Could I not cast walk the plank for some reason? I 
Okay. Oh, maybe I have a connection issue. Given what's going on right now, maybe it's just connection. There it goes. Yeah, that was me waiting that whole time. So that's probably what happened. Because I was definitely ready to do something. That was so weird. Well, I, I guess I'd better do this now. No. With the stop there, we should be okay. Let them discard a card first. Please. Please. No. It's sorcery. That's why it's a sorcery. Oh. I think I just forgot. Okay. So, there's another card called Victim of Night. Destroy target non-vampire, non-werewolf, non-zombie. And it's an instant. I cannot believe that I did not see... Okay, we live and learn. Live and learn. That card is a sorcery. Okay. Chaos. From Sonic. From Sanic. Chaos. Okay. I, I can remember that. Alright, so they had to mull. Garuda. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, you know what? I could have actually ended up running a, like, a mono Planeswalker Umori deck. That would be kind of cool. It'd be kind of neat. Now, I can't actually cast any of the cards in my hand just yet. My hope is that we'll get there. Well, now I can play exactly one. All right. Now let's see if this is a Paradise Druid, because it feels like it's always Paradise Druid from the Garuda deck. I am guilty of that myself. Mm hmm. Called it. Okay. Please be land destruction. No, I mean, you wouldn't be. There's no red. Okay. Anything else? That's kind of interesting. Well, in that case, I guess we'll just pass, won't we? That's unfortunate. Not to get a land there. Yeah, I definitely don't have enough lands in this deck. So they get Garuda next turn. Oh, yeah, they get Garuda next turn, that's right. My turn. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's no way this is going to work. But, I guess I should try to do this now, since I would have to discard anyway. Please don't have a land. Please don't have a land. Please! Alright, see how many are in my deck. Oh, did they get Nico Bolas? Did they get the one... Ah, uh, they got the one thing it could have been. Oh, no, they had, uh, you're indestructible. I feel like I threw away that game before this. I, I feel like that because I did, <laughs> actually. Let's make a change to it real quick. Uh, let's take out one card and add in another land. So what do we take out? What do we take out? Let's look towards the high curve spells, I suppose. Dragon Soul. I mean, that seems okay. I don't know that I'd like to take that out. Yeah, but well, that's sure, that's fine. That's fine. And then we'll add in another backwater. Alright. 26 lands. And we took out a card we're... <laughs> it, <laughs> probably not going to end up casting. I'm actually even pretty sure that that's the structure deck one, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that, that was, because the three mana one's the actual Sarkon. Alright, here we go. Here goes nothing. Uh, you know what? Narset's fine. Narset's okay. 
Uh, yeah, we'll take that. Hello. I would like to have another land, though, to be honest. There we go. That, that ends up working out. Looks a little bit slow, but when we see a planes come out on turn one, Languish looks really good. Oh, never mind, there's a Mind Stone, so maybe not, actually. I don't want to cash in the temple just yet, because I'm not entirely sure what I'm going up against. I'd like to have some more information first. Karn, okay. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Do it now. Do it now. Yeah, we'll play Sahili first. Yes. Yes, that's good. Okay. If I languish, I'll lose the token, of course, but then I'll just get another right back shortly thereafter. Elspeth conquers death. Uh oh. I'm sorry, but I must tend to my creations. Please do another minus. So I can get more value out of this language. There we go. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess we'll do it. We'll punish them for it. Not that that does much for us, unfortunately. Alright. Non creature spell. Ah. Uh, well, I guess we'll cast Narset next turn then. Creature or planeswalker from your graveyard to the battlefield. Uh, yeah, that's an easy one. Let's not give you Eugene. Let's not. Say we didn't. Hold back this Kaya then, I guess. That makes sense. Hold back Kaya for Ugin. Eugene. Yeah, that's fun. That's fun. The fact that you start at 7, too. Oy, even for this deck, that's a lot. Doesn't look like they do a whole lot of card draw outside of Mindstone, and they can use Tome, actually, to draw. We'll see how they do this. Alright, so they're going to draw now. Makes sense. And they might even crack the Mindstone here. They still have extra mana. Nope. Okay. I know 88 ways to defeat Pick one. Pick one. I have just the trick for this. Uh... I haven't seen any creatures out of them yet, have I? We'll do another Narset, actually. Alright, come in tapped. Alright. Alright, chickadee. Yeah, when you're getting another Narset, that usually doesn't say anything great to the opponent. That usually says, ruh -ro. Yeah, let's give you Void. That's easy. That's easy. I like what they're doing here. Any sort of mud deck, I am a fan of. 1000%. Okay. So, we're going to play Vraska Swarm's Eminence next turn. And see if we can try to... Well, no, let's do Nightmare Muse, I guess. Hmm... Ooh, yeah, let's do that then. Uh-oh. It's not looking great for us, to be honest. Hello. Well, I shouldn't say what I will do until we get a chance to see with Narset. Sorcerer's Spyglass. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's, let's see. Okay, so whether they take Kaya or Ashiok, either one will be okay with. No, Kaya only deals with creatures. Uh oh. Right, so they need to take the Ashiok then. And Ashiok Nightmare Muse. Yep. So that opens the way for Eugene. Uh oh. All right, let's see. Chandra. Yeah, let's play Chandra then. Actually. Can't be countered. That seems okay. Let's make this quick. Alright, let's get started. Oh, looks like someone's getting a little sweaty. 
Hmm. Maybe that was wrong. Oh, yeah, that was wrong. I should have used the minus to get rid of Karn's Scion. So they couldn't get out Eugene. Alright. Well, that's my bad. That's my bad. Especially since... Well, no, because then if I did that... Let's see. 2, 2, 2. She would be at 3. Yeah, so she would have lived through an attack. Yeah, so I just messed up. I just played a little too quickly. Maybe I'm getting tired. Oh, no, they had one in the hand anyway. Oh, wow. Okay. Hey, that's not good at all. Six. All right, well, it has to go down to one. At least there's that. Hmm. That's pretty big. Cool. Alright, let's see what we can get. What can we do to get out of this spot? So if we play Vraska, unfortunately they can just use Ghost Fire to ping it down every time. Narset gets destroyed anyway, but at least that gives us a chance to find something. Oh, that could have gone better. That could have gone way better. Alright, well, I'll destroy this thing now, just to get it out of the way. Yeah, but that's not particularly great. I could have seen a better Narset, unfortunately. Alright, so Narset's dead here. She's going to suffer the ghost fire. Alright, one damage to them all one damage of it. That does not a win make, though. Especially since there's only one of those in the deck. I can't add any more emblems from here on. Yep, okay, so... That's done. Alright. You gain life. Do they have any source of... Uh, they have creatures. This will make creatures. Uh, yep. Give them the creature, unfortunately, the creature generator. Either way, they were getting creatures, but this one seems way worse. Ooh, nice. Give them the nice on this one. After this, I might just tweak it really quickly to add white, so that I can run, like, Teferi and Oath of Teferi and some white ones like Elspeth, I guess. Stuff like that. Gideon. Oh, hello. I guess we both have them now. Alright, this just stalls. That's all this does. Actually, no, this is game, isn't it? Yeah, this is game. Alright. Ooh, yeah. That's tough. That's real tough. Alright, well... I'll, I'll tweak it really quickly. I like the deck, but I'm misplaying, and I'm also missing out on some power. So, let's add some white to it. Hello? What? Okay. Alright, let's go into our planeswalkers for those colors. Let's add to fairy really quickly. As you do. You know, as you do. And you. And take out some of the ones that just don't do as much. Let's put in Oath. Actually, while I'm thinking about it, just before I forget. Uh, Oath of Teferi. Whirlwind of Thought. Alright, 65. Uh, one Chandra, take out Vraska, 
Uh, as good as Ral is for... Yeah, let's take out Ral. I don't have enough instance, instance in sorceries to really make good use out of him. Kaya seems like an interesting... Curve topper. Not enough, though. I wouldn't worry. You're having to compete with those. Good grief. Uh, and then take out one walk the plank. And that gives me all of these. Now I need to tweak the mana base a bit to make it work a bit better. Right. Go into lands. Cool. Cool. Godless Shrine. Two. Hallowed Fountain. Sacred Foundry. This isn't necessarily how it's going to end up. At all. Take out the backwaters. We have too many. Um. Hmm. Okay. Let's see. Blood Crypt. Uh, we, we can go down on Steam Vents. Godless Shrine also seems important. Go up here. Go down on Temple of Epiphany. Down to none, actually. Temple of Malice. Here, here. And then... Temple of Silence. Okay. That seems right. That seems correct. Alright, there goes. We're still running the three nickel bolus. I think that that's alright. Alright, and no Elspeth though. Which might not be quite correct, but since we're not running a, a big creature deck, I'm not going to get as much use out of it, unfortunately. Could have included some of the removal that White gives, like Settle the Wreckage. That would have probably been right to have in there. Instead of, uh, can't kill merfolk at sorcery speed? Uh, well, here we go. Alright. Yeah, we'll keep. Let this come in tapped. Again, I'm trying not to cash in my Scryland just yet, until I know what I need. Okay. Hmm. This is alright. We'll do this now. That is going to put me a bit behind on getting this Chandra out on curve. But again, I'm not sure what I need just yet. Oh, okay. Let's get our white mana in. Ashiok. We don't have the mana for her just yet, for it. I guess it's a nightmare, given form, so it's not a he or she. It's just a living nightmare. Doesn't look the part. I mean, kind of looks the part. Oh, good grief. Good grief. I'm just gonna kill this thing on curve. That's fine. That's alright. We'll get rid of that. Right now. Get out of here. Alright. There's Sahili. Yep. That's good. And now we just kinda hopefully take over. Just take over the game from here. Let's see what they play. That'll determine what I play next. Dirge Bat. Oh, it's a mutate deck. It's just mutate the deck. Uh, in that case, we'll blow this thing up. Try to keep them off of creatures as long as we can. Godless Shrine. Yep, that's fine. Alright, and we're done. Okay, and then next turn we can go Ashiok. Alright, here, what is it? What you gonna do? I mean, they, they shopped, so we'll find out. Cub Warden. Okay, let's put that back in their hand. Oh, back in their hand. Wait, couldn't they... Am I admit... No, they didn't have the second white for a mutate there. Alright, well that's fair enough, I suppose. Um... I don't want to put that back in their hand necessarily, though. As weird as that is, I'm not sure that I would like to put that back in their hand. Because then they have a chance to mutate it. Hmm. Either way, we get this. Oh, hello. 
was weird. Ah, oh, boy. Excellent. Yeah, let's try it. Let's do it. Okay. I don't know that that was correct, though, to be honest. It might have been wrong. If, if they find... Okay, it's alright. I guess it ended up working out. Alright, now Llanowar Elves can indeed mutate. Let's see what happens. Gem Razor. Okay. And now there's not as much that I can do about it. That is an artifact. That is, in fact, an artifact. Alright, so they'll attack. Obvious block is obvious. Ooh, trample! I forgot, I completely forgot this thing had trample on its own. Wow. Okay, well that, that was not good. At all. I, I would say that I goofed. I'm actually going to play Ashiok here. Target that. Just kill it. Kill it with fire. Now, here we go. Alright. Yeah, I, I don't... I remembered Reach. I forgot about Trample. So that, that's on me. That's entirely on me. Alright. There we go. So, yeah, that, that was a problem. My part. Okay, it, it may be it matters, maybe not. We'll see. Alright, so they're gonna make a beast. As you do. That is her plus, which is silly, but I guess it works. Trample? You Trample. Rise in variation. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Okay, well, we get to do this, I guess. We can play Chandra here, just to get yet another one down. Uh, which is probably okay. We won't be able to play whatever this is, though. Ah, oh, crap. I am great at this game, folks. I am great at this. I feel like that's the kind of mistake I wouldn't make in paper, because I pay attention to that more in paper. But I'm just kind of rushing through it now, to be honest. I'm just not even focusing. Like I need to. How savage. Okay, well, that's what I get, I guess. I guess the upside to that is that I'll be able to actually play the card off Chandra next turn. Um, well... Let's see... We're still not out of the woods just yet. They have more cards in hand, and they have a source of creatures every turn. So I do have to watch out for that. Let's see what Chandra has to say about this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's a problem. Ooh, that's a real problem. Uh-oh. Yeah, about that. So I should probably languish here, shouldn't I? You think? I mean, I can wait till my opponent's turn to actually cast Languish, though. Here we go. Okay, I can get one onto Vivian here. It's risky to play the Chandra here, because if I don't find a land, then I'm in trouble. So I don't know... Well, does it have Trample? It does. Crap. Okay. It may be a risk that's worth taking. All right, here goes, I guess. All right. It's my turn. No problem. Nope. Fire nope. Oh, no. Uh, well, that really didn't work out then. Yeah, that really didn't work out. At 
least I'm hopefully taxing what the opponent can take. But this isn't looking too good for me. Even with fewer cards, like, I get... I can do stuff turn after turn after turn after turn with all of these planeswalkers. Uh-oh. Uh. I hope things get out of hand for you. It's weird that they didn't do it before Llanowar Elves. Oh, with lesser CMC put on the battlefield. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. I mean, that, that ends up being okay for us, I guess. Because they didn't actually cast the creature, did they? When you mutate? Yeah, when you cast your next creature spell. Or did I miss something? Search your library for a creature. Alright. Going for Chandra. Oh! Okay, we can lose Ashiok. We need Chandra, though. Chandra deals a target opponent or planeswalker. So we actually would like for her to take four. And we have Languish, so this is fine. It would have been nice if I had say if I had used that properly so that I could use Languish to actually kill the Sterex here. But I didn't. So it's okay. But I believe that this is right. Yeah, seven minus four. Uh, three goes to two. I guess that that's fine. Or do I need to... I, maybe I need to save some number of them. You? Alright, seven minus three is four. Four goes to her. Yeah, this is okay. We'll try this out. Alright. Remember your nightmare. Vivian's down. That's good. Hello? Now, Jay. I have a plan. One, two, three, four. One, two. Ah, okay. That's unfortunate. Well, let's let's do this. Plus. Ooh, another languish. Oh, they can even see it though. Well, I mean, I guess that there's that. I guess I have to do it now, actually. Even with Teferi, I have to do it now. And it kills them all. And double anguish. Alright, so now we, we should be in the driver's seat. Okay, cool. Mitchy knows. Play this. And then pass. That gives away to my opponent that I have a land in my hand, though. Crystalline Giant. Oh, this is the one that gains a counter of whatever kind it feels like. What is this? Plus one, plus one. Interesting. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see. That's separate. That's from Hinge. Okay. Don't get haste. Don't get haste. Please don't get haste. Please don't gain haste. Oh, wait. Haste is not one of them. Flying, first strike, death touch, death proof, hex proof, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, vigilance, and plus one, plus one. Uh oh. Oh, great. You can stop. You can stop. Anytime now. Oh boy. What, what does this have? Menace. Okay. Alright. Yeah, let's do. Hmm. Here. Two. Okay. Let's see what I can get. What I can find. There are so many mysteries to uncover. your prowess. Let's take a look once again. Um. So I can kill something, kill the Gym Razor combo here, and then return Giants to hand. Alright, scry first so I can see what I'll possibly be getting. That seems okay. That seems good. 
actually could use that to hit my opponent, but I, I don't think that that's ideal. Alright. Return that. Boom. Alright, and then what's this? What's the CMC? It's four. Okay, so the combo of that CMC is four. Uh, so I won't make them sacrifice it, fortunately. It's okay, though. Yeah, and I can't cast you. And you do not have Trample. So I guess it ends up working out. Four Planeswalkers, folks. And we still aren't quite there yet. We're not done yet. Okay, so they play that again. Good. As you do. As you do. Yeah, we still... Hmm. I don't know. I'm not looking forward to this too much. Since it doesn't have Trample, we'll lose one of them. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Well, Languish would be nice, though. Would this get lifelink? Oh, it has haste. Does it? No, 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 no. It mutated over the Rishkar. That's weird. I mean, it works. Oh, hi, Bolus. Hi there. Okay, um... So, if I go... Ongreth Bolus, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. First, let's do the rest of these. Languish, hey, that's good. Oath, ooh, 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 mass ooh, ooh, massive ooh, ooh. Okay, so I can go Bolus, kill this thing, Ongreth, take Crystal and John. I would like to kill their whole board though, so I can go Languish and. Ongrith at the same time. That would, well, that wouldn't kill their Cub Warden, though. That would just take it. This is actually CMC4, isn't it? So, Bolus, I guess? I'm thinking. This is tricky. Tricky, folks. So, obviously, we'll do that. I've got it. Languish first, though. Are you okay, honey? Oh, she's dreaming. She's stirring. This creates one. Alright. Instead of re We can actually just bounce it, though. So many planeswalkers here. Alright. Oh, that returns both. Oops. That was a problem. That was not good. No, it's okay, because I have Heartless Act. It's alright. I still get to draw a card. I, I didn't have it at the time, but it, it works out. Why is this game still going? Pelucranos Unchained. Django Unchained. Okay, so it has counters, so we can't actually get rid of it with Heartless Act. So now, how do we get rid of it? Huh. Cub Warden. Okay. Hmm. And because I ended up doing it that way, we do have a bit of a problem. Does anything have haste here? No. Alright, so Cub Warden onto here, I guess? No? No? Okay. Okay then. Um. So you first. Let's see what card we have. 29. Another Teferi. So that would be interesting. Prevent that damage. Okay. Yes. Ooh! Idiot. I forgot to use the plus on Teferi first. It's okay. Trust me. You'll thank me later. Okay. You okay, honey? Never ending. Okay. 
return Polycrinos to hand. Again. Resolve. That's good. That's okay. No, I am not making this up as I go. Um. Let's see. Ongrath. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. All right. Take Your that. Crew from my it's mine. <laughs> All mine. Mwahahaha. -ha -ha -ha. I can actually use this to turn the servo into a rich car. Oh, you know what? If I had done that correctly... If I had done that correctly... No, I, I couldn't have turned the rich car. They're with legendary. I could have actually put that in uh, untapped so that I could play Teferi here. It's okay, though. I, I messed up. In turn. Okay. Glucronos again, as you do. Alright, gets another counter, as you do. I love you, honey. I'm right here. I'm right here. Are you having a bad dream? Ooh, ooh, no, 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 not that one, not that one. I'm right here, honey. I'm right here. It's okay. I'm right here. Your J is right here. Everything's okay. I promise. Mm, I'm trying. Cub Warden. Okay. Just a regular old raw Cub Warden. Okay. Let's see all the things we can do here. Plus. This might be a bad idea. Alright. There's that. Oh, it's you burning. Okay. There's that. No fire, no steel. Okay. Hmm. Or permanent they control. That's not much, but it's something, I guess. Okay. It's exile. That play this. Who hasn't gone yet? Has anybody not gone yet? No, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, we're just kind of <laughs> keeping them from doing hopefully anything. That's the that's the game. That's the name of the game. Keep the opponent from doing anything. <sighs> Alright, so we evolved, and Necropanther is out. Alright, so block. Oh, they're just attacking me. I'm still going to block, but nice. How many cards do I have? 23? 17. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's already my turn. Wow, okay. Draw a card. Alright. Ooh. That, that is true, Chandra. That is true. There is indeed no problem that fire cannot solve. No one is telling me what to do. I love how I haven't even used the Chandra yet. Okay. So I can go minus three. Draw some cards. I'd be a little bit careful about that. I am running low on cards in the deck. Sack two creatures. Now I'm kind of wishing that I did have Jason here. Although now we should be able to win. 
There shouldn't be a problem from here. Uh-oh. What's the decision? Are they able to create more creatures? They don't have a token generating land. They might... And they don't have spells in hand. They don't have anything in the grave that cares about this, so... What's the holdup? I, I genuinely don't know what's going on here. Maybe there's an ability on here that they can use? I don't think I'm getting salt roped. I think. Or maybe they have control up and, you know, just to bluff control. I'm not sure. Maybe this is... I don't know. Oh, I just... I don't know how I just realized this. We're playing against Nico Bolas. We're playing against Nico Bolas. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. Uh, hmm. Alright. I guess while we're waiting... Oh, we can't see. Anyway. So here's our Nico Bolas. At three. So not quite as high as we would like. Unfortunately. Uh, so what this Bolas is going to do is create an emblem for them. Once we... Once they have to uh, sack their creatures, Bolas will create an emblem. And then Chandra will create an emblem, Bolas will create an emblem, and we're just going to speed emblems on them. Uh, this will also get Bolas up to the point where eventually we can use the minus eight, and that can close the game out early. I'm going to try not to use Fire Artisan anymore, because I would like to actually not lose. Yeah, maybe we are getting so or you know, maybe they're AFK. Maybe they're just AFK, which happens, that's fine. Oh dear. Poor opponent. Alright. So... Oh, uh, no. Move over here. There we are. Let's try this. Blood crib. Actually, discard a card, lose no two life. Fire, no steam. Oh, yep. Untap you and you. Cool. Alright. Oh, okay, so they are holding full control, right? And uh, now there actually is something they could do. It's the Great Hinge. Um, because while the mana may not be useful right now, gaining two life is theoretically something that could help them out. Alright, but I think we're I think we're getting salt roped by Bolas. Um in the meantime I get to scratch my little one's head. She is so precious in every way. Yeah. She she likes obviously she likes to be around me. Um but you know so tired. I'm getting tired too. So I don't I can't blame you one bit. I cannot blame you one bit, honey bunny. So going forward here, I can deal two every turn with Angrith. I can get two Chandra emblems put on them. Oh, okay. So they just conceded. Alright, that took entirely too long. But we got there. That's what happens when you play control, I guess. You can just you can just do that. Alright, silly though it is. It's time for me to get her in bed. Six out of two wins. Yeah, I think I got there. I think it's safe to say I got there. Alright, and um, next time, I promise next time, we will actually play Jumpstart. We will get our Jumpstart on, and she will pick which decks I put together, based on whatever criteria she has. Um, <laughs> okay, that's it. Take care, Magic Community. I will see you all later. Bye-bye.